Hello everyone. I inserted the sails first to bite it for further viewing. And the crafting fragments themselves will be near the end of the video. And so, Autocraft in Path of Exile 2 will work. Although still with very limited functionality. At the moment, we only have a role with Chaos Orbs. Any items or waystone. According to the settings, everything is similar to the first part. Calibrate the currency, add mods, press the hotkey to start. For example, here I want to catch a mod to increase the radius for Time Lost Jewel. We can also roll the waystone according to the parameter for the chance of dropping waystones. And of course, any waystone mods. Just like for the first PO, the program uses chain crafting, meaning you can craft any number of items in your inventory, not just one. And yes, this applies not only to maps. Now the crafting of bows, the sale of which I showed at the beginning. This is by no means a crafting strategy. This is just a demonstration of how the program works. We don't know the average craft on crafting yet, and I can't guarantee a profit, as it was in the video for the Path of Exile 1. For example, I've already spent about 1,000 Chaos Orbs, but I've never grant a mod for plus two projectile. And most likely, if you use these crafting settings, you will go into negative price. So now I'm just giving you a tool, and you decide how to use it. And I, in turn, Hope that this will be useful to you and you will be able to adjust the settings so that there is a profit. At the moment, all this functionality is completely free. However, if you are a Sheikh, you can support the development on Boosty or Buy Me A Coffee. All the links are in the description. Of course, there is practically nothing here compared to the huge functionality of auto-crafting for the first Path of Exile. Therefore, if you suddenly accidentally flew into this video, you can watch other videos on this channel on auto-crafting for the first part of the PO. The program is currently in its raw form, in a test mode, of course, it will be finalized later. And if you have any ideas on new features for the program, go into Discord. There is a special section for ideas for Path of Exile 2. And in conclusion, a few words about the Path of Exile 2. Of course, first of all, I hope that the game will develop in terms of crafting so that I can add functionality to the program. Otherwise, in my opinion, the game is very good for the alpha test. That is, given that the game will be finalized for at least another year, it already looks quite playable. Yes, it's naturally a bit difficult for the first time at the Axe, sometimes stuffy long locations. And now that there is already a build that can close everything, there is certainly not enough content. There are a lot of things that are still annoying, for example, the referee. When you have 35 MSA on your boots, nodes on the speed skill, and you physically don't have time to run or roll to the circle at the other end of the arena so that you don't get shot. An empty atlas when you're there at level 92, walking through the taverns and encountering only a couple of citadels all the time. But these are, of course, all the little things that will be fixed and greatly improved. That is, if someone is hate on the game, on the balance and all that, just look at what updates are being released by GGG. They are working, trying to do something, and not just sitting there, having mixed up billions of starter packs. Thanks for watching, as usual, likes, subscribe comments, watch other videos on the channel, fly into Discord. All the links are in the description. Good luck to everyone.